Together we're better and we're proud to be leading the way with our approach to inclusion across the health and care system. We recognise inclusion is not simply a trend to be followed or a box to be ticked, but a genuine way to make a heartfelt and positive difference to the lives of our staff and our colleagues, and to address the inequalities faced by many of our citizens and our communities. A lot of work has already been done to ensure inclusivity is embedded into our local health and care system culture. But there is always more we can learn and more we can do to ensure our workplaces are compassionate, supportive and inclusive for all. That's the idea behind our series of inclusion schools, to provide a safe space to learn from others' experiences, encourage dialogue and share transformative ideas. The first of our online schools looked at tackling racism, recognising where there has been progress while accepting the many challenges we still face. Delegates heard powerful first-hand accounts from those who had experienced racism or discrimination in their personal and professional lives. The discussion highlighted some of the less overt forms of discrimination in our society and the individual and collective responsibility we all have for challenging these. The second of our workshops focused on challenging gender bias in the workplace. Three female leaders spoke about the journeys they travelled to reach positions of seniority. How they stay grounded and energised and they shared some inspirational words for overcoming barriers. And a series of learning sessions provided practical advice on building inclusive teams through compassionate and inclusive leadership. The third inclusion school helped to break the remaining silence around sexual orientation and gender identity in the workplace. The workshop provided a safe space for learning where questions could be asked without fear of misunderstanding or causing offence. There was recognition of the levels of bullying, harassment and exclusion facing different groups within the wider LGBT plus community. Personal stories about coming out and finding acceptance. an emphasis on the importance of using the correct pronouns and a determination to keep working to change minds and to make a more inclusive society. Across all three schools, participants welcomed the honesty and openness of the speakers, responded to the shared experiences and were inspired to further develop their knowledge and understanding of inclusion and how it can benefit us all. Our inclusion school journey continues. We hope you can join us by lending your voice or simply listening in to this vital and evolving dialogue.